Hello and welcome to my video tutorial on Java for Beginners part 2. Now in my previous video I, I showed you how to set up your computer to write a simple program. Um, this, basically the Hello World program. Uh, and today I'm going to teach you the different components of a Java program. Uh, and I'm also going to teach you some of the important aspects such as variables. Um, so for this you might be wondering what this first line means. Ignore it. I mean, it's important and you need to have it before every um, Java program, but you don't really need to know what it means. Bas the basic uh, thing is just this is this basically means it's your main part of your program. So anything between that bracket and that bracket is what your computer actually acts upon. So in this case, the system dot out dot print hello world, it's acting upon that piece of code. So it's printing out hello world into the console. Uh, brackets are extremely important in programming and they can cause a lot of problems and to programmers they are very annoying. What they basically mean is they, they segment your code so uh, for example this bracket and this bracket join up to, uh, to encompass all of this uh, this bracket and this bracket uh, join up to encompass all of this uh, all these brackets have to be curly brackets. They won't work if you have a normal bracket. It's just going to give you loads of errors and yeah, it's not going to work. So it always needs to be a curly bracket. Um, I'm going to teach you some of the basics of programming. So variables uh, and how to use them. And uh, do, while doing that, I can explain a bit more what these brackets are for. So right click on your project, go to new class I'm just going to call mine variables and then uh, uncheck inherited abstract methods and put in public static void main you can delete that first line it doesn't have any real use it's just there to explain um, okay so we have several basic variables um, we have integers int for short um, which are basically single digit numbers such as one, two, three, and four. Then we have doubles. Um, a double is a multiple digit number that can include um, decimals and how many other digits you want. Uh, then we have booleans. They're a bit more complicated. They basically have a true false value, um, which uh, it's 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 useful for several sections of pro uh, code and programming. So I'll teach you a bit about that later. Uh, another variable is the car, which is short for character. Character is basically single character letters such as comma, uh, the letter a equals etc. Uh, then we have strings. A string. Uh, you have to write it with a capital S at the beginning because it's a uh, object so it's treated as an object uh, an object is basically something which has a function rather than uh, being part of your program it's a separate program which has a function which is why in system dot out dot print the system has a capital S because it's an object and it's a function so system is a function in here string is also a function string a string variable is basically as numerous characters so you could have a, a string variable that's a name for example John or Smith um, so it's basically a, a, a string of letters and that's about it that's those are all the uh, you also have floats, but they're not really important, and you don't really need to know about them. You can look them up if you want, but I don't really use them at all. And in beginner's Java, you don't really use them at all. You shouldn't really use them at all either. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to declare these variables now. So declaring a variable basically means you are creating it. So if I declare an integer called num1, and I set, assign it a value of 0, semicolon and remember after every line of code you need to have a semicolon otherwise you're going to get error messages everywhere um, basically what I've 
said here is that I've created a variable which is called num1 and it is an integer and its value or it equals 0. So we can do the same for doubles. Double num2 equals 10. Now I'm saying the variable num2 is a double and it has a value of 10. For car, um, you could have this for example. So now I'm saying that the, um, the variable letter is a character and its value is A. For characters, you need to encompass them in single quotation marks, otherwise it doesn't uh, acknowledge it. So always put characters in single quotation marks. Then we have strings. Um, here I'm saying the variable name is a string, its value is John or J-O-A-H-N. So when you declare a string, you, it needs to always be in double quotations, otherwise it won't pick it up either. And then boolean. So here the, val the uh, boolean question has a, a value of true. Um, now I can teach you a little bit about manipulating those variables. So let's start with doubles. Uh, if you it, doubles and ints work in the same way, so if I teach you how to uh, work with a double, it also it's the same as uh, working with an integer. So let's take everything away. And now we have our we've declared our variable num2. What we can do to num2 is practically limitless. You can add to it, you can subtract from it, you can uh, multiply it, you can uh, you you can use it however you want. You can, for example, uh, let's say you wanted to add two to your variable, so you take num2 plus equals 2, semicolon. Now you're basically saying that the variable num2 uh, equals num2 plus 2. You could write this in a different way also. You can write this as num2 equals num2 plus 2. Uh, but it's just a shortcut, basically. You could say plus equals 2. It's, it's the same thing, it's just like a shortcut. The same as plus plus, what that does is add um, 1 to your number. So if you do plus plus, you don't have to do all that other equals num2 plus 1. So those are a few shortcuts you can do with it. Um, now if you want to, let, let's say we just want to add something to it, so equals 2. And now we want to see what its value, what its new value is. So we can do system dot out dot print um, num two. What we're basically telling the console to print out is the variable num two. The variable has a value of ten plus two. So. In the console, you should come up with the number 12. There we go. Uh, you can do the same for subtraction, except with subtraction, you can't use this shortcut right here. So what you have to do is num2 equals num2 minus 2. Now, if we rerun the program, you can see the, the, uh, the value assigned to the variable num2 is 8. Um... You can also multiply, for example, if you have two doubles, so we declare a new double here, num1 equals 2. Then you can do, for example, num2 equals num1 multiplied by num2, semicolon. Now, if 